I've got Andrew here, and Andrew, as you guys may know in some of our other videos, Andrew's got a little sawmill, and he saw our last video talking about cutting beams and decorative trim, and he's like, hey, why don't you, why don't you give me a few of those trees, and I'll take them home and cut them up and cut them into beams for you, and, and then you can use them for decorative trim. So, Andrew's here, and we're working on loading up some trees, but we've been talking about scaling these and trying to figure out how many board feet and how big a timbers we can get out of these trees. So I want to have uh, Andrew kind of explain what he looks at when he's looking at trees, when he's thinking about either board feet or making timbers or... Okay, so this one's pretty straight. Um, you can just take the diameter inside the bark. This one's like 15, call it a 16. I'll just round up because I like you. So, Woodmiser has these cool little Scribner decimal C scales, uh, board foot scales. You can get them anywhere. This is just, you know, one they send out. It's pretty simple. So you have your diameter right here, your width, 16 inch. This is a 33 foot log. The scale only goes to 16 on this one, so it's 160. So oh, you just double it. it. Right. Gotcha. So that's pretty easy. So what, that's what's the total board foot, roughly? Oh, I'm not good at math. <laughs> what was it six no was it 120 no it was 160 160 so yep. so easy 320 did i get that right <laughs> have to get out my calculator i don't know this is amusing to me though <laughs> uh so basically you have what's called a cylinder of scale so logs taper quite a bit this one's actually pretty good uh the butt of this one is probably three to four inches larger on the diameter. Yeah. Um, so the mills are only gonna pay you for what they can get as a, you know, as a cylinder. Picture a cylinder going all the way down the length of the log. So anytime you have a lot of sweep to it or pistol butt on the bottom, they're gonna pull, scale, deduct from that. This one's pretty straight. And but is, but as, you're, as you're looking at this and you're thinking about cutting, cutting, you know, a, a timber out of that. Right. Like I can't, so whatever. For this particular one, I just need 18s, that's what I got for you, is those 18 foot 6 by 12s. Those are gonna be full size. So, a little bit bigger, but you picture a six inch wide beam. Yep. Drop it down. 12 inches. 12 inches. Now, I saw the crown out of all the beams. Yeah. So I'm gonna oversaw it, flip it, square it, saw the crown out so you actually get something that's you know, not a banana. Right. Um, so you're gonna have to start with more. Right. So you can, right. so, what, so do you, what do you start with, like cut it, seven by 13. On this one, I actually, so we're gonna can't saw it. We're gonna be pulling, you know, nominal two by lumber off the side or whatever I can get. If I'm gonna get a, say I have an order for two by eights for a gentleman. Yeah. I'm gonna have all this side lumber up down here. You know, let's say I can get a nominal four by. I could probably get a free heart four by eight out of that. I'm gonna oversaw that, saw the crown out of it because you've got all this radial tension out here that's gonna to wanna to get that thing to, to, to crown. pull it. Right, so I'll oversaw it at four, let it dry, resaw it down to three and a half for a nominal. Or we can get, say, two two by eights out of that. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna center the heart perfectly on these, or box the heart is the grade. Yeah. If you center the heart perfectly, it's a lot less prone to checking so and twisting. Running. Now, a lot of the times you'll see, you know, videos and it's like, why didn't you get way more lumber out of that log. Well, if you put the pith, the heart, right, like let's say one inch to the outside of the beam so you can maximize your yield over here, you're gonna get good lumber over here, kind of, so you have all the sap wood, but that beam's really not gonna be straight. It's gonna check right where that heart is because when it dries, it's gonna dry to the heart. That's gonna be a check, which is fine. Everything's gonna check and twist. But if you can minimize it by having this heart centered, so you're better. Straight. You're better to box around the heart box or the heart center the heart perfectly, as good as you can. So our mill, we have hydraulic, you know, levelers on it. So we'll set this up on the carriage, go to the other end, measure. Well, first we orient the log how we want it. So if the log has a crown like this, we're going to set it probably like that, or maybe the other way. But you, you know, you don't want it to be at a 45 because yeah. your beam's going to be garbage.
we're gonna send these three with Andrew. He's gonna put them up on the mill and cut us some timbers. And we'll we'll go up there once he's got them cut and and take a look at them and and show you what that looks like. But I thought it would be interesting to see where we started, what they look like. He's got a lot of work to do to get these cleaned up and get them cut and put into timbers. And then we'll be able to go check out the sawmill and see what he turns them into. The idea is that we'll cut some of these timbers and we'll we'll sticker them and set them aside and then down the road if we've got a project or want to do some trim in the house or whatever they'll be ready to go.